Hello my friends, welcome back to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting something a little bit different today. It's going to be um, this like rainy shot in the dark with greenery hanging down inspired by My Hardy Paints. So I really don't know how to tackle this. Um, it's, it's always a process figuring out how you're going to paint something that you're just looking at a reference of. Uh, I don't even know what colors these are. Could be blue, it could be black. Um, and it's a very odd blue. It's like a greenish blue, but it's not what you think it is. I'm just going to start applying a blue and see where that takes us. Maybe morph it into this green. It's, I, I just don't know what color this is. It's hard to tell. And that's going to morph into black or almost black again, hard to tell off of this photo. Because it's a very unusual scene, I guess you could say. Um, and I am, so one thing I'm doing is I took a separate brush for my white so that I'm not putting blue into my white. And I'm applying the white in the center like this. And you're going to ask me why, and I'm going to say I don't know. That's just, I think it has something to do with the light or the way the rain is falling. It's hard to tell. But I'm trying my hardest to not have the blue come up in the white portion. So that actually doesn't look too bad. I just keep rinsing my brush in between brush strokes to avoid the color transfer. Now that looks pretty good, but I know that when this dries, it's going to be way too light. Um, so I'm tempted I don't know whether to let it dry and then do a second layer or just keep piling on the color now. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it dry and do a second layer. So this is dry, but I am so tempted to leave it like this because I love that gradient and turn it into a completely different painting, but um, we have to stick to it. And I'm now realizing she definitely did not use watercolor in her painting because it is way too opaque for to be watercolor in her painting but nonetheless we carry on we carry on so i think i used hold on i do have the names for these paints so what is this i am currently using something called dark turquoise as well as dark green very descriptive so there you go those are the two colors that i'm alternating so this is the dark turquoise which i'm just applying um i think i did something like this where i went around and then I'm putting the dark turquoise, I'm kind of blending it into it and putting it around like this. And then I took like a, I already had black, some sort of black green combo on my palette. Um, but you can just use black or mix green with black, whatever you want like this, but I want to blend this a little bit more naturally. 
and I want there to be even more black here. I want it to be very dark. And once again, I am taking my white. I'm gonna do the middle first as much as I can without touching any pigment. And then I have to rinse my brush, you know, multiple times to take off that extra color that I pick up. Um, it's annoying that like every brush stroke basically has to be rinsed. Oh, why do I have pink on my brush now? I'm doing the same thing that I did that first time. Where ugh, now I have yellow. I really, really don't like that these colors are so close together on this palette. It's really, that is the one piece of feedback I would give this company. I love the paints, they're so opaque, they're gorgeous to work with, but man, is that annoying. But I keep picking up the neighboring colors. Ooh, it's kind of doing this wavy thing, which I wasn't anticipating, and honestly doesn't work with this painting, but what am I gonna do? So, We're gonna leave this this way. We're gonna let this dry. I think I'm happy with the opacity of it. Um, honestly, it's a little too white here. I'm gonna see if I can somehow Just add a little bit of blue back in there. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry before I mess it up because it looks okay right now. Okay, one thing I noticed is it would make it a lot easier when we're painting our greenery over top if we added some green, light green to spread out and blur out first while this is still wet. Um, oh my gosh, it's so hard to decide like what direction to take these paintings when you really don't know what you're doing. Um, I don't want to mess it up right now it looks really cool but let's see here just taking a little bit of green some very light green and I'm going to just very lightly dab it on in the white section I don't want to overdo it. I just want to lay some sort of foundation for the greenery that we're going to be painting. So. I don't like that it's that light though. I don't want like a lime color. I want it to be a lot more muted. Um, technically some should go here, but I'm going to make it a lot darker, I think. Um, I don't know if you'll even be able to see this in the corner here. <sighs> so 
something like that. Okay, we're just gonna leave that the way it is and go from there. Let's let this dry. We are gonna paint the uh, green foliage now. So I'm gonna start with lighter colors first. So I'm taking kind of a lime green um, for the first kind of set of leaves that I'm painting. And I'm just gonna gradually go darker with them uh, just cause it's easier to do that rather than the opposite. So I don't really have a set method with this, or that's not the right word. Um, I'm just going to start painting and see what comes of it. So you can paint whatever leaves or foliage that you want. I'm gonna go with like this, whatever this is, whatever you see me painting right now. I'll go a little bit closer, maybe even closer, just for fun. And yeah, you can basically have your little vines or your whatever uh, foliage hanging from wherever you want from the top. And then I'm just pressing downwards to create these broad shaped leaves. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm very excited because next week I am visiting my parents. Uh, they live quite a drive away, several hours away. And my mom is hosting me a baby shower. So again, um, I'm pre-filming these videos like way in advance. So by the time you see this video, my baby will already be born. Um, but yeah, so my mom is hosting a baby shower and I'm really excited to see a lot of my family that I haven't seen. Some of them I haven't seen since my wedding, which was two years ago or a year and a half ago. And some of them I haven't seen in even longer than that. So it's going to be a really fun little reunion to spend time with everyone and see everyone. Um, and also, like, because my parents live in the city, um, in a bigger city. We don't live in a city. We live in a tiny town with 500 full-time residents. <laughs> but uh, we always have a lot of errands to run when we go there. Like we have to buy a bunch of stuff, return a bunch of stuff. It's like a never ending thing and we never go back with an empty car like the car is always absolutely packed with stuff so uh, it's going to be I'm just very excited it's going to be a lot of fun to see everybody and Although my mom was telling me that she invited people that I don't think I've ever actually said a sentence to. <laughs> She's like, I'm the host, so I can invite whoever. Um, which is fine. It's just funny because, I don't know, I feel like baby showers are more intimate events where you invite people that 
care that you're having a child. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so here I'm gradually getting darker with my leaves. I All I did was added some black to the original color that I was using. Um, and I'm overlapping some of these branches with the darker pigments. Also, there's just a lot of exciting things happening in general in July, which is, it's now July when I'm filming this. And, um, <clears throat> sorry, I just woke up, so my voice is still very crackly. And I just realized I haven't had breakfast. I should probably eat. Right after this painting, I will eat. Um, but there's a lot of exciting things happening, like currently... Our house is an absolute mess because um, we are having uh, our second bedroom drywalled and it uh, so we had to take everything out and we have a tiny house guys it is really small so everything that was in that bedroom that we had to take out is now in the living room, which is the main space. It's like where you walk in, it's the living room kitchen combo. And so it's kind of a maze to walk around in, but it's very exciting because that room just looked not that great because it, it was this like board paneling before and you could see through not see through it but there were gaps and it was really thin and it was sticking out in places in weird ways it just didn't look great um and I thought like now is the time to do this because like baby isn't here yet and once we're preoccupied with an infant, it's going to be really hard to get any house projects done for a while. So, especially since, given the circumstances, like I can't imagine having to take care of an infant and living the way that our living room slash house looks at this moment right now. I think it would be a little bit crazy. So, um... I'm glad, and we jumped on that, like when we decided, okay, we're finally gonna do this, because we've been talking about it for a while to re-drywall that room. Um, like we got, the, the contractor started within a week. <laughs> so uh, it's it's very exciting. Anyway, the reason, the second reason why it's exciting is because we're kind of making it actually look nice. Now before the room looked really bad, like the walls were just so outdated and ugly because it wasn't drywall it was paneling that i didn't really care about furnishing that room really nice or whatnot i just piled random things that weren't color coordinated in there and it was just like whatever it... yeah okay that was a brief intermission because of course my husband had to use the toilet that's getting real old, by the way. <laughs> like, speaking of a small house, having one bathroom is honestly not a big deal because I realize that a lot of people, it's a luxury to have more than one bathroom, but it is extremely inconvenient when I have to work in the bathroom. But. You know, you choose your circumstances, so I shouldn't be complaining, even though I am. So what was I saying? Right, so the bedroom, you know, because it was just really ugly to begin with, the walls were like blah. I didn't care about furnishing it in any which way. I just threw a bunch of stuff in there, old bed sheets, like the windows don't even have blinds. It's just a mishmash of whatever storage office guest bedroom combo. And um, 
what was I gonna say? So now, now that the wall, it's gonna be drywalled, so it's gonna be like a proper looking room, it, we're gonna paint it a nice color. And I'm just picking out, um, what do you call it? I am picking out, like we already bought a really nice carpet and we have blinds that are going to be installed once it's done and new bed sheets that are going to match everything. It's just, we're even considering getting rid of, getting rid of our laundry machine and our dryer, which we're also, are also in that room and just replacing it with one of those um, stackable ones because they take up way less room and it would really, excuse me, it would really neatly fit in this one space in that room, which would look really nice. So, and then I could put this really nice shelf beside it. I'm daydreaming. And, you know, our future child could also actually have some room in there. One of my stipulations <clears throat> for having kids with my husband was that no matter what happens, like no matter how many kids, whatever, we are not going to leave this house or move from this house unless I change my mind about it because I love this house. Because it, it's very small and that was the concern that like we were going to feel like we have no room and I am a little nervous about that because we it's already sometimes an issue with the bathroom with just the two of us. And again, it is because I work from home. Uh, or sorry, I paint in the bathroom. That's what I meant to say. So we'll see. Anyway, as you can see, as I'm blabbing on, I'm just continuously adding more and more of these uh, leaves. I don't like that they all look uniform. I kind of want them to be a little bit more abstract and rough looking. Anyway, you can keep going with that for as long as your heart desires. I do want one leading branch just to kind of wrap this all together. So I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm using my quadruple zero here just to have some random like vines coming down. painting. Now I also added some greenery here and I'm debating what to do about that because uh, I have to do something because it's just a bunch of green blobs but I mean it's very dark there so I think I'm gonna have to use very light green for this part. Let's just see how this turns out. I'm using a slightly bigger brush, although I might change that in a moment. So it's not gonna be the same type of plant. It's not gonna be like foliage type, uh, sorry, vine type. So 
So continuing on with my earlier topic, which I thoroughly enjoy talking about. It's very exciting. Um, that all of that should be done before we even leave to go to the baby shower. So there's just a lot of exciting things to look forward to in general. All within a week. All of that is going to happen within a week. I should have used a smaller brush because I don't like how bulky these leaves are turning out. Let me see if I can fix that. I'm adding some white in there just to vary it up a tiny bit or yellow even you can add and using my smaller brush really um, I really like how it looks it makes it look quite nice Anyway, that's pretty decent the way that it is. We'll just kind of leave it like that. Okay, now we can add the fun part or what's going to make this make sense, which is rain. Actually, it still doesn't make sense. I don't understand where this light is coming from, but it's a pretty picture and that's <laughs> that's what I'm going with. So. Um, I'm switching back to my size one. I'm picking up white watercolor here. You can also use white acrylic paint, but I'm, I'm probably going to switch back to my, yeah, I'm just going to switch back to my size, uh, quadruple zero. Cause now we're going to paint our rain and it's going to be very vertical. So just a lot of vertical, li thin lines coming down like this. I am sure that there is a faster technique as well as a nicer looking technique for this, how to do this, but I don't know what that may be. So if you have an idea let me know in the comments but this is the fun of like figuring paintings out this is part of the reason why I like using reference photos because I I have no idea how the original artist painted something um, I just see their finished product and I have to figure it out for myself and in the process not only do you learn more about your own painting style and you obviously get better at painting in general from painting different things but you also uh i don't remember actually where i was going with that point but <laughs> it's um yeah sorry i don't remember where i was going with that you can have, you know, some more water droplet types in some sections if you would like, rather than really long lines. That is fine as well. Switch it up. And you can even have uh, 
like some rain dropping on the petals here and kind of like flicking off if you or you know when a splashing off rather that's what I meant to say I'm gonna go close again so you can see what I mean I'm kind of so if I have a raindrop coming down like this it's kind of splashing off like this off of the raindrop sorry off of the leaf and the other thing we can do is take a our brush actually that's a bit and just flick some of that paint onto there to make that splashing a little bit more realistic looking. But I'm gonna zoom back out just in case I forget to do that later. And then I'm painting and you're like, I can't see anything. So I don't really know how I feel about this rain. So you can just keep going until you're happy with that. I think I'm happy with it. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to totally ruin everything. So when you are happy with that, you can peel off uh, your tape if you opted to put a taped border there. And we have this cute little rainforest, rainy landscape design thing. Let me know what you think of this. It's kind of different from what I usually paint. Um, if you did like it, let me know in the comments. Hit like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.